loves, welcome back to Mariah's Beauty Corner. Today I have a super glittery New Year's Eve look for you all today. Do you notice anything different? I guess I'm a new fan. Um, I will be coming to you with a review on this wig, given that I've only had it like three days. I want to wait at least a week or two before I come to you with a review. But this is what it looks like. It's super curly and I love it. Now, before I get into the tutorial, I want to give you a rundown of the products I used on my face. Starting with primer. Oh, hold on. I used the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. Why isn't that focusing? Okay, well, it's the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector, and it's amazing for individuals with oily skin. Onto foundation, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the color 355 Coconut. Moving on to contouring, as you can see I did this subtle contour. I use the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. Then moving on to blush, this is like my favorite blush ever, and it is Fuchsia Flash number 19 by Sephora. It's just a really pretty pink. Then highlight. Uh, I have a review on this palette that I will link down below if you're interested. Look at the size of those pans. You get five highlighters, a mirror, and a brush for $10. I got it from Walgreens. This was earlier uh, before Christmas, so I don't know if they still have it in stock or if it's gonna be a permanent part of the Profusion Cosmetics line, but it's definitely worth trying to find. And I just used champagne right here on my cheekbones. Then for brows, Maybelline Brow Precise. It's really cool, it has these fibers that add volume to your brows if you have sparse brows or uh, patches on your brows. This will definitely help. And I also have a review on this product too that I will link down below in the description box. Then eye prep. I prime my eyes with this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer in sheer and this was a dollar from Walmart. Then to set that, I used Creme Brulee by Wet n Wild, and this was a dollar at Walmart as well. Then to just moisturize my lips, I used my Rudolph Red Berry Lip Balm that I, run, I won in a giveaway. So that's all the products I used to get this face. Now let's move on to eyes. All right, this is the look that I came up with. I just did a chocolate brown in the crease and I put a silver shadow on the lid and then I topped it with glitter. And then I also put some glitter under my eye as well. All right, and I also did one eye off camera to save time as far as editing goes. And you get a look at the end result. So starting off, I'm going to use this this chocolate brown with this brush and I'm going to apply that to my crease. I'm gonna go in and get a little bit more of that chocolate brown. I don't feel like the color is deep enough. All right. 
Now I'm going to use a mixture of creme brulee and sugar by Wet Wild to highlight under my brow bone. And for that, I'm going to be using this brush. All right, so I'm gonna go into creme brulee first, then sugar. off the excess and I'm just going to go underneath my brow bone and I love mixing these two together I feel like it creates the best under eye highlight because the creme brulee is this matte beige color and sugar is this shimmery white color and I feel like those two together just really accentuate the brow bone. I'm gonna go get a little bit more because I used to be so heavy-handed when applying my makeup but I've gotten into the habit of applying my face makeup before I do my eye makeup so I've been trying to be lighter with the application because you can always go back and build it up. Okay looks good and I'm gonna blend that out. Alright. Alright, moving on to the lid. I'm gonna go in with this really pretty silver eyeshadow using a flat shader brush. Tap. I'm just gonna pack this on to my eyelid. Like so. When you're trying to get a really opaque finish from your eyeshadow when you're applying it to your lid, it's best to pack it on like this instead of swiping it. That helps the color come out a lot better. <laughs> now moving on to glitter I'm just using a glitzy girl body glitter I don't know if you can see that it's really pretty now uh, since I had to coat this on and it does take a while for it to dry I'm going to apply my glitter and my liner and lashes and I'll be right back hey guys I'm back both eyes are done Lots of glitter. I really love glitter. This, that's why I was inspired to do this look because you know New Year's Eve is all about the fireworks and the sparks and the glitter and the confetti and stuff. So I was really excited. I'm going to go over what I used to line my line my eyes, my mascara, and my lashes. All right, starting off with eyeliner. I used this Marc Jacobs. Highliner, gel crayon, and blacker. Then I use the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara for my top and bottom lashes. To apply my lashes, I use the Kiss New York Eye Envy Black Strip Lash Adhesive. Oh, liquid liner. I lined my top, uh, my top lash line with this liquid liner by Secret Face and if you watched my Christmas vlog you saw that I got it in a Christmas makeup bundle thing and it's really good too it has a, a felt tip and it's really pigmented and um, all you need is one layer for a really intense black line so I like this let me scoot forward <sighs> The lashes I'm wearing are by Salon Perfect. They are the 614 Glam Lashes. And I just used these tiny little blunt tweezers. 
tweezers from Sephora to apply them. Now, moving on to lips. Since I knew I wanted to do really like heavy glitter on the eyes since it's on the lid and under the lash line, I wanted to do something pink on the lip because to me this is still like a pretty neutral eye even though there's silver and glitter. So I'm going to use two of my favorite pink glosses. This one is Madeira by Nika K. And I'm going to top that with this really glittery one from Wet n Wild and it is in Crushed Grapes. And I think these two would look super pretty together because Madeira has some slight shimmer in it. It has like really fine glitter and the chunks in Crushed Grapes is a lot bigger. So I think these two together would look good. Not only the color combination, but also the glitter in both of them. And if you're wondering why I've changed locations, I just want to switch it up because I wore this I wore this in one of my videos. I can't remember which one it was in, but I've worn this previously with my leopard print background. That's in my bathroom. And it came out looking super bright red. So I thought maybe if I filmed in a different setting with some natural lighting, it might come out pink. So that's why. And I'll go over the things in my background um, when I pan the camera back out. Yeah, all right. Oh yeah, see how pretty that is? Oh, okay, see it actually looks pink. That's what I wanted. And I think they changed the formula of these because they used to smell like oranges, now they smell like I don't know, it's like sweet overlaying some kind of chemical smell. I'm not a fan of the way they smell now. Also, I have a outfit of the day or night, depending on when you're attending your New Year's Eve party, most of them are usually at night. And it's gonna be a really cute dress with some heels and some really nice statement jewelry pieces. And I'll include a clip as well as pictures at the end of the video. All right, that's Madeira. I think it looks really cute with the, with the eye look. But I'm just gonna go over top with that wet and wild lip gloss and crushed grapes to add a little bit more sparkle. Oh man, I'm really liking this. Ooh, look at that. You see? That's so much glitter. Oh, I love it. Now this lip gloss smells good. It smells like a grape flavored lip gloss. Yeah, it smells really good. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. And also I want to go with um, a lip gloss instead of a lipstick because lips, lip glosses you know, they are really glossy and shiny and they catch the light. A lip gloss that'll catch the light even more so is one with glitter in it. And it's pink and I really like how this look came out. Let's see, I'm gonna zoom in to give you all a close up of my eyes. See, I went kind of heavy with the glitter on the lower lash line. And then I put the silver in the uh, tear duct just to open the eye up a little bit more. I'm gonna close my eyes so you can see the glitter. Uh, oh, wait. Could you guys even see me? <laughs> I 
I'm playing around with, with my camera and stuff and the angles because I'm sitting on the floor right now. Now for the items in my background. This is just beautiful, isn't it? I got this from Dollar Tree. I think it was it Mother's Day last year when they had out all their, their Mother's Day last minute gifts and stuff. And this is a little jewelry tree. It has all these slots up here and I just decorated it with some of my favorite earrings and then down at the bottom, some of my favorite bracelets around it and this part comes out so I just took the tree part out and put the bracelets on and just snapped it back in and it didn't come with these flowers on it I actually took these flowers from something else that I owned it was it was like a a glass it was a glass flower like the branches not not the branches the stems of the flowers were glass and one of these purple flowers had broke off so um, when I decided to get rid of that, I was like, I'm just going to keep the flowers. And then I was thinking to myself, you know, this is kind of missing something. So I just went and hot glued the flowers onto this. That. Then this. Also, if you watch my Christmas vlog, I got this as a gift from my mommy. It says Frap Queen because I love I love um, coffee. Oh yeah, it's super cute. And look, she's wearing a crown and blowing a kiss. That's so adorable. <laughs> Moving on to this side, I have my truly dazzling glass. It's like a stainless wine glass. This is kind of what it looks like. And I got this from Dollar Tree, and I just keep my face brushes in it. Uh, since I did my face makeup off camera like I told you at the beginning of the video, that's why you don't see That's why you don't see um, My eye brushes up there because usually I keep them side by side But that's why this one's up here because I already applied my face and I just keep my foundation blush highlight contour powder and my these are the tweezers I use to remove the glue off the band of my lashes so that's that, again from Dollar Tree. And then right next to it, this was also purchased from Dollar Tree. This is a, uh, this is a wine bottle gift box that was in a Dollar Tree haul up on my channel. I can't, I can't tell you which one. I just thought this was super cute. And at the time when I bought this, I totally forgot that I already had this glass. But now I have a cute little set and this is empty for the meantime. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Something of the makeup sort. I don't know. But yeah, that was my background. I thought I would just like decorate it a little bit. You know, so it wouldn't be just a plain window back there. But um, that is the end of my New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below in the comments what your plans are for New Year's Eve. Are you going to any parties? What are you doing? Ringing in the New Year drunk? Okay, that's always a possibility. <laughs> um, all right, so that's the end for the makeup look. Now I'm going to jump into the, I'm just going to call it outfit of the night. OOTN. Um, thank you all for watching. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought and until next time. Bye! I'm back with my OOTN. Alright, starting off with this necklace. I got it from Charming Charlie's. Now, everything I'm going to show you I've had for quite a while so I can't, I won't be able to tell you the prices on any of this stuff. But I can't tell you where I got it from. So that's good. All right, so this necklace is from Charming Charlie's. This ring is from the Wish app. This bracelet is from Charming Charlie's as well. And now I'm gonna show you my dress. 
This cute dress, I think I got it from either Rainbow or Melrose. It's just a really pretty navy blue dress with lace detailing. It has lace all around the neck. Get up. Let's see. The, the slip doesn't come all the way down. So you have some lace, like skin showing through the lace at the bottom. All right, so that's the dress. Now I'm gonna show you what purse I carry. This is just a really cute, simple black purse and it's like the faux croc skin, alligator skin. It has these really big silver circles that affix the strap to the purse. And I got this purse from Walmart. Now I'm also gonna show you two different styles of shoe I would pair with this outfit as well. First off is this one. Just really cute little strap in the back. And the shoes from Payless. Or keeping with the glittery theme, it's another black shoe from Payless. And you like have to wrap it around like that to close it. It's really cute. So those were the two pairs of shoes I would pair with the outfit along with the purse. Gave you the deets on the jewelry as well as the dress. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought and I'll talk to you later. Bye!